Hi, I'm Mark Thompson with Super Simple 365. In this session, we're going to look at adding a guest to a team, creating a private channel, adding that guest to the channel. We'll have a quick look at pinning channels. We're then going to be that other person, accept the invitation to be a guest, and then we're going to switch tenants in Teams to look at that private channel. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start off in this uh, tenant here where the team is. So let's add somebody as a guest. So click on the ellipsis, manage the team. Over on the right hand side, add a member. Okay, you can see I've previously uh, added this name. So nice and easy, add that person in. Maybe I'll have a quick check on what the guests can do. I don't want you guys creating and deleting channels and messing around in there. Okay, so now let's go on and create our private channel. Click on the ellipsis for the team. Say I want to add a channel. Okay, so let's just call this so the ABC project. Okay, and we're going to say that it's private. Okay, so this is a private private channel. I'm not going to put a description now. Click next, and now I can start adding people to this channel. Okay, so I want to do this person here. I can see that um, that, that it's an external person. So click on there, add them, and just give that a second. Okay, good. So you see here I've got two channels. So I've got uh, the two private channels, the ABC channel, and we're gonna. I'm expecting to see that when we change tenant later. And I've got this other this issue, this super user private channel. I don't expect that person to be able to see this channel. One thing I want to do while I'm in here is I just want to collate my important channels at the top. So maybe I can click on here. Say I want to pin this channel. And then you'll see it appears at the top. For me, uh, the use for that is, uh, let, let's say that you've got a particular role across different projects, and you're only interested in this one topic across these different teams. Uh, you can collate uh, all of those at the top by pinning those. And instead of you having to go into each channel to go and do that particular role, you can just pin them all and they'll be sitting up here and you can just jump in between your, your different teams and different channels. Okay, so, what we're going to do now is go across to the other tenant and see whether uh, I can access this uh, from the other tenant being that other person. Okay, so I've gone over to my other tenant now. Um, here's my focused inbox. I'm not seeing the invite to the other team. So let's have a click, look in my other emails. Okay, there it is. If I click on it. You can see that I've been invited to the Super Simple 365 team. I can click on Open in Teams. If I didn't have Teams downloaded, I can use these options in the middle, but I do. So at the top, I'm offered uh, to open Microsoft Teams. So give that a second. Yes, I do want to switch. Okay, so you can see now I've gone into, uh, into Super Simple 365 as a guest, and I can see this ABC project, the private channel that we just created. Let's just have a, a quick recap of what's on the other uh, on the, the other view. If I go into here, you can see that actually in this team, we've got the ABC project and we've got the super user private channel, but going back to the environment in which I'm the guest looking into uh, uh, Super Simple 365, you can see I only have access to that channel and this other private channel is still private. Okay, so I want to, as the other person now, I want to go back into my to my normal day job. At the top up here, you can see I've got uh, a list of the tenants that I'm in. So here's the here's a the tenant for the purposes of this demo is my home tenant, uh, and here's the guest. So I just click on there and switch back. Nice and easy, super fast. Let's just see that again. Go back to the super simple training within a few seconds. I'm now in every environment. Okay, so nice quick demo for you. Um, if you want to keep in touch, 
Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Uh, you can hit me up at Super Simple 365 or do a search for Super Simple 365 and you'll find the web page there as well.